Hi everybody! Hello! I'm spending time with one of my favourite people on earth, Jenny. Ditto. Come here and I tell you, we're just after having a really, really interesting conversation off camera. <laughs> right? Not cool. It's supposed to be no. recording and we weren't recording. But does anybody know who those two American girls are who record themselves and drink wine and have like the most interesting conversations on the planet? If you know who that is, Please send it to me or tag me in it because I want to find out more about them because I think they're pretty cool. So if you could do that for me, that's great. Now, this live stream is about spending time with people, with like-minded people who are going to draw out the best in you. Yeah, yeah. People who are either doing what you are trying to do are people who are trying to do what you are trying to do. So you can either encourage each other along or one person can be a scaffold for the other. Exactly. Help them up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I what's happened to me a lot in the last little while is that I'm connecting with people who are of similar mind, who have similar goals, who are on the same path as me. And when you're doing work like this, sometimes I can find it very isolating. Yeah. Can you find it isolating? Yeah, because a lot of the work you have to sit on your own and do. Mm. <laughs> because what you have to do is Hi Sarah! What you have to do is is you have to dig down deep into the darkest place of your soul yeah. that you kind of only really want to go on your own. Yeah, not really comfortable to open up them spaces. You don't really want an audience while you're doing stuff like that. No, no. However, no, no. I can see us probably doing that again in a little while. Yeah. But um, I find that when you do that, when, you, when you're doing all this work and you're on your own and you're struggling and it's a bit isolating and sometimes it can be sad and lonely and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but it's good at the end of it. Yeah. It's like the giving birth process. <laughs> yeah. Which we just discussed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when you're when you have a brainstorming session with somebody who has similar energy to you and has mm. similar goals, it's just like fire, fire, yeah. fire, electric sparks the whole time. Yeah. Like what time did we meet each other today? Um, I must have got here just after twelve. So from twelve o'clock till now, we had a chat in uh, the house, and we went off for lunch, and. Started crying at lunch. <laughs> Not cool. Uh, oh. Publicly, two people publicly crying. It looked like we were breaking up. It did, didn't it? <laughs> we would make lovely babies, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible. Not I now. know, I know. Not now. But we would, we would. But uh, yeah, there was tears, but it was happy tears because we were yeah. learning and then we were growing and <laughs> discovering and all them things. <laughs> Uh, like now, like I just discovered that Jenny wants to make babies with me, that's fine. <laughs> so, uh. I had a brainstorming session with somebody last week in Australia, actually, uh, very similar to Jenny, who does a similar line of work. And that brainstorming session was amazing. But we've yeah. literally been brainstorming till now. Yeah. Yeah, so we're bouncing ideas off each other for our workshops. So, my workshop is coming up on the 30th of September, and that is in the Gibson Hotel. You can... This is actually my announcement now because Woo! I actually haven't given my day out but my workshop will be November 25th in the Louis Fitzgerald Hotel at And so I will be so there. I will be there. I will be first in line to get my ticket <laughs> because I can tell you if you need to know anything about self-care, she's not the self-care specialist for no reason. <laughs> but um, at an interesting, at an else interesting happened today, Jan. Yeah, because I'm always saying if you're meeting with like-minded people and you're meeting with people definitely who have done what you are trying to do, which Nicola has, because Nicola had her first um, workshop in May, which was a cello. So I'm coming to Nicola with all these, we're having little chats over lunch and I'm going, oh my God, what about this? And I'm shitting and blah. And she's going, no, I've been there, did that. No, wait, Michelle. And I'm able to learn from Nicola. And she's there, I'm looking at the, I'm not looking at the camera. The camera. Yeah, <laughs> it's stupid phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm able to take on Nicola's opinions and Nicola's point of views from the issues that I'm having. And yeah. she's able to teach me because she's already overcome those ones on her first workshops. So I'm like, yay. Yeah, now the, the brilliant part about that is, is that Jenny held my hand literally till about four o'clock in the morning the night before my workshop <laughs> when I was changing and having costume changes and all. Oh. But the main issues, I suppose, that we were talking about earlier on is, is that both Jenny and I have suffered from the same thing, which is overly explaining what it is that we're doing. There's no need for us to overly explain what it is that we're doing. I know, but it's, I think it's hard because it's not like we can say, oh, here's a degree in empowerment. Here's a degree in self-care. There is no degree. There is no certificate. You do that 
that learning and that work in life. Yeah. And then after doing it and doing it and doing it, you get to a point of, oh, I know this shit. I know this mm. inside out. And now people are coming to me and asking me about it. And I'm really good. Yeah. I'm really good at this. Yeah. But because I don't have a certificate, I'm going, oh, wait to tell you what I did. I'm waiting to tell you how great I am at this. Wait yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah. But I mean, I suppose through the experience of life, that's why the work that we're doing, Jenny, is so practical. And yeah. that's why people are attracted and want more of what it is that we're doing. Yeah. Because we have the cuts and bruises. And we have the scars and we have the stories to tell and yeah. we came out the other side of it. Yeah. And when you have a gift and what you have as a gift and what mm. I have as a gift to be able to empower and help people, yeah. it is a travesty and a shame and a sin not to use that yeah. and impart that knowledge that you have onto other people. Yeah. But both Jenny and I were, were saying uh, earlier on that we both struggle with, you know, the possibility of judgment and people saying and who does she think she is <laughs> but that's just a process and I yeah. struggled with that a couple of years ago and I still would to a small degree sometimes but for every one person that goes mm, that's not great that's okay because there's 15 other people out there that say do you know what they're actually doing all right and they're doing a good job and they're doing a good service for the community and there's a lot of content that we put out there yeah and I think the work that we both do is not for everybody and yeah. that's why there is always videos of saying, if you have been following this page, if you have watched my videos, and if you think that I'm the person that you want to do this work with, then buy a ticket. Then come and see me for a one-to-one. -one. Then mm. let's join the women's group or join the families group. Yeah. Because you know then that we're in alignment with what is going on for you. We're in alignment with the lessons that you want to learn and where you want to go in life. And then you know that this is where you want to open yourself up. This is a safe, vulnerable space. Yeah, and you know what I just started thinking there a second ago, right? Elizabeth Brackens after saying two of my favourite ladies. Aww. Hi Elizabeth, hey, I love you! <laughs> uh, hi Kellyanne! But you know what I'm just after, we were discussing this earlier on, I hope you don't mind me sharing this. No, but, on, you're okay. Um, if this was any other industry, right? And if we weren't on the path that we were on, mm. we would be competition. Yeah! Yes, right. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Where would you ever get mm. Coca Cola and Pepsi? <laughs> I love that. Where would you ever get <sighs> Coca Cola and Pepsi sitting on the same sofa discussing and building each other up, yeah. and me telling you, do you mm. know what, Jen? Keep going. I think you're doing an awesome job. And Jenny saying the same thing back to me. Yeah. Where would you get that? Yeah. There is space for for. Listen, there's space for thousands of more people in this industry in Ireland for us to be doing what we're doing. More people because doing we need more people mm. bringing this kind of work into the forefront and into the mainstream, okay? Yeah. Um, so, no, I consider Jenny and the likes of Jenny to be my colleagues. Yeah. And I will lift her up and raise her up and promote her as much as I can. Yeah. Because it's needed. Yeah, and it's it, otherwise you're coming from a place of lack. If we're competition... We're coming from a place of lack. Yeah, you're coming from fear. Yeah, and empowering each other, we're coming from love and abundance. Absolutely. So there's plenty yeah. of plenty of this to, to roll. Yeah, out. yeah. And if I'm doing well, you're doing well, and if you're doing well, I'm doing well. Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely. So who's Pepsi and who's Cola? I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and you hate that? I don't mind. Right, I'm Cola. <laughs> I'm Cola. And you're Pepsi Max. I don't. <laughs> I don't drink any soft drinks, so I don't care what oh, I am. <laughs> Funny. So listen, if there's anybody out oh. there who has any questions, there's Jonas Viscar, he's sending me a lovely message. Um, <laughs> if anybody has any questions who's online there, ask away and we will both click in later on and answer your questions. But uh, we just wanted to let you all know. Hi Kellyanne, oh, I feel the love ladies, you're both deadly. Cheers Kellyanne Thank and you. congratulations on your achievement during the week, I'm super proud of you. Um, I'm actually losing my train of thought. What was he saying? I don't know. Something about questions. But a little shout out to the Bear Food Company. That's where we went for lunch today. Oh, it yeah. was amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. It was the first time I was in it. Yeah. And I ended up picking up two um, really good brownies for the kids to bring home. So that I'd be the best mummy ever. But, Every um, time oh, I have so good. a guest to the house who is not from around here, I always take them into the order because we literally do live in the food capital of Ireland. So oh, we'll be so up good. in the Bear Food Company again. Mm, it was so but, good. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say, so I'm going to leave it there. If I remember yeah. what it was, I'll, I'll type it in underneath. But listen, um, I think I was going to say that... Well, the message today was to get out there and spend the time with like-minded people. Find your tribe. 
find the yeah. people who are trying to do what you're trying to do or who are doing what you are trying to do yeah and get out there and as well as that nobody is infallible we both suffer sometimes from over analyzing and yeah. fear of judgment and coming from lack but then we uh check ourselves before we yeah. wreck ourselves and take a little cup the, that's it Tablet. Don't spend too much time in that energy. No, and no, we, no. we sort ourselves out. But that's why it's important to spend time with people who have similar mind because they can yeah. snap you out of that quicker than you <laughs> yeah. can when you're on your own. Yeah, we had uh, a situation like that today where we both had to talk ourselves down off particular stuff. But we're all better now. <laughs> so listen, take it easy, lads, and uh, I'll see you see soon you. on the page. Slime! Slime.